Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. Alright, this is another one. On this one, it says, they are calling for my death. I am going to die anyway. Aisha, yes, who cries out, say she is not afraid. Aisha Yesufu is a woman activist. She was among the leading persons who stood their ground during the NSAS campaign that took place barely two weeks ago. Despite the recent curfew put in place by various governors of some states as a result of the unrest caused by hoodlums, thugs, and thieves who took advantage of the situation a few days back. The protests in so many places have reduced a lot of people are returning to their daily activities. Mrs. Aisha Yesufu isn't giving up on the fight as she kept updating her followers of every latest happening. Yesterday, video that went viral on social media platforms, which was reposted by herself, showed the moment a group of people made a short clip describing her as an enemy of Islam and a supporter of LGBTQ and even made a threat to her life. Okay, and according to what she posted on Twitter, as you can see, she's saying one set say I am homophobic, another say I am LGBTQ supporter. A 10-minute production was done portraying me as enemy of Islam and supporter of LGBTQ. They are calling for my arrest and that all Muslims should denounce me, in other words, kill me if they see me. Hashtag NSAS Jaw. All right. Well, in in a way of redeeming our image, Mrs. Aisha Yesufu posted various pictures of how she has stood against bad governance in this administration and even the previous one. She still could not figure out what our fellow Muslim family meant by saying she's one sided in this fight. She, however, made it plain that she is not scared of death and the worst anything could ever do to her is to kill her mortal body all right as you can see some other posts she had posted okay on this one it says as little as a little girl less than 10 years of age i came to the conclusion that the worst thing anyone can do to me is to kill me and that it is not the worst thing since I am going to die anyway. At 46, you think I am going to be afraid to die? Try again. We die here. Hashtag answers, Joe. All right. As a little girl, yes, that's what she has said so far. Okay. And um, she also posted another tweet which says, Who do you think is masterminding this cause for my death? They understand they understand the folly of directly attacking me, so they use these local celebrity talks to call for an attack, and they can say they weren't the ones. My big mouth got to the government. Hashtag NSAS. Hashtag secure not. All right, that's what she has posted. Okay, and um, there's been a lot of reactions on to this. In fact, our followers, our fans have reacted to this, and um, according to... Etekwe onum, etek at etekwe onum. Okay, it says replying to at Aisha Yesufu. It says these are nationwide issues, not individual. Let the sixth from threatening each other and voice against our oppressor collectively. All right, and then at Binga Ogunye says these people are nothing but evil. They can do and undo. Just be careful wherever you might be heading. But if anything happened to you, Nigeria is in problem. Our leaders are in problem. And also at Victor, replying to at Aisha Yesufu, he says his life threat is involved in this matter. All the people who made such statements should be arrested. Okay. And um, at, at Meet Me, 
replying to Aisha Yesufu, he said, Indeed, they have heard your voice. The impact has been given them sleepless nights, and this is only the beginning. Okay, and um, and that is a lot of people have also reacted to this. And um, at Abdul Rahman, he says, Oh, actually, hoping to do the dirty job through the third party as they did with sponsored talks against hashtag and SAS. Okay, I wish they could direct this anger to those who impoverish them for ages. They still don't know where the problem lies. At Benga, is saying here that these people are nothing but evil they can do and undo just be careful wherever you might be ending a lot of comments keep coming in and at blessing geo has said that no harm can come to you at aisha yesufu god will protect you from the wicked politicians in nigeria god got your back paradventure they lay a finger on you that will call for another war they killed innocent people because they know their secret is about to be exposed to the world hashtag answers hashtag end bad governance in nigeria all right well this is the country we have found ourselves and as it is a lot of people don't even want to know what is going on right now they are not they have made up their minds that any which way we die there well, and meanwhile, as you can see, the country, the state to which the country is not right now, I think everything we need is just prayer. There's nothing prayers cannot do so that all these things will work well, so that the country will be in a stable state. Well, everybody has asked for what they want for the country to be better. Instead, it's getting worse by the day. Nobody wants to give the right answer. Nobody wants to do the right thing. I don't know why this has been like that. May the good Lord continue to protect this country. That is our prayer. And we we'll keep praying. We know that one day will be one day God will listen to our cry. One day will be one day our prayers will be answered. One day will be one day Nigeria will unite. And I believe that in no time this will happen. In no time, things will work for the betterment of everyone in the country. Well, well, the youth have started the move and as it is, we pray that in no time, everything will be answered. 505, that's what they have been asking for and the 505 will be done in no time. That is one thing we know. But everybody just needs to be careful because some agitations, some things are just fueling others. So we don't know what is actually happening, but the truth of the matter is God is in control. And that is it. Well, that is it, my people, on this one. Thanks for listening and God bless. Have a nice day. Bye for now.